What's up guys, it's Drag. We're over here with Jared's Epic Nerf Battle 4. Speaking of, we got Jared, Sophie, and Aaron in the studio. Uh, very, very excited to be here making content with them and all of these exclusives. So uh, if you just saw the video about the Mercury, I handed it off and they're immediately uh, dissecting it and uh, hanging out with it. We've still got the reactive target set up and that's how quick news uh, news dies on YouTube. So we're already on to the new hotness, the rifle category for uh, Edge. This is, again, just like full match grade, very, very Olympic-esque. We've got this chunky handle with the very uh, ergonomic grip and the same aggressive muzzle. It looks like it's coming with another target. We won't need to set up another one. I'm assuming they're functionally identical. That's normally how Hasbro does it. But we've got the Jupiter XIX 1000. Uh, according to Jared, this will be a Walmart exclusive, et cetera, et cetera. Links in the description box below. And it will be launching in a few months. These are going to be a hot minute. We're enjoying the Mercury over there. But I can't wait to see what his big brother looks like here. On the back, we've got advertisements for the bipod. Uh, same sort of tactical rail. Still advertising the clear window with just exactly like I said, the extended magazine there. Uh, all internal, but letting you count those rounds. And then this one is also bolt action, not unlike the Mercury, but I feel like this one's not going to be ambidextrous. I think that you're pretty locked in to whatever its ergonomic is. Now, this is unique. It's a first time for Nerf, the monopod adjustable, and I'm 50-50 on it. It's either going to be completely ridiculous and absolutely unnecessary, or it's going to be really, really cool. Thanks, Jared. Look, different. It is different. So we're once again going to need uh, Jared's help. He's I my. Was gonna do the same thing. I mean, usually they do. Wow, well, you get a different target in this one. That is awesome. So, uh, guys, Jared has his own channel on YouTube. He's no one got. Subscribes to it though. Well, I mean, he's got a live subscriber count here. In fact, we could pull it up. Wait a second. Look, there's a. Look at this. What is that? Something's happening. Here. What's going to happen? Plate? All right, we got to bust. Instructions, though. Let's just figure it out. Yeah, no. Instructions are oh, for... metal? Instructions are for chumps. Oh, it makes a sound! No, it's is it... It's going to make a metal sound is it gonna, you hit it! Is it going to ding? Dude, this might be one of the coolest secrets ever. Positive of... feedback Yo. every time. Yo, Yo I'm, I'm, I'm freaking out right there because... You know, a lot of these images have obviously leaked and a lot of people have seen a lot of things, but here's one thing that no one saw coming is metal striking metal. Well, nobody, nobody's that. shot the target yet. This is going to be the first ever on YouTube target hit. Look at this. So no pressure. Don't miss the target. Like, yo, yo, oh, ah! bro, sound. speaking of the ding, Dude, that's dope. all right, guys, I need you to help me out. Jared is trying very hard. To get up to uh, 100,000. 100, well, I just subscribed, so I'm waiting to see if your clock just will now? register it. Yeah, I just did. Oh, wow. It took you this long? Girl, Here we've got. Did you actually subscribe just now? I did. I just did. Okay. Well. Two, three. It's giving you one extra. On my phone, it's saying 23921. Oh, well, someone might have unsubscribed at the exact moment. No, but I did it. Sorry. It doesn't normally work. You guys have to help me out. You got to help me get Jared to 100K. Please. Subscribe. He's not monetized. <laughs> and he frequently has uh, has the inside scoop, the Hasbro track on some of this stuff. It's so that's, that's actually true. That is true. They really love me. So we gotta we gotta we're set up our Jupiter we're here. We're digging all over this video. This is the nicest bipod nerfs ever made. What's that? You it's, said you said something very nice, Jack. It's the nicest bipod nerfs ever made. It's got ratcheting attachments, it's got a cool hexagon pattern, and this we haven't seen since Rival. This is like real steel levels of nice. It's a uh, a ratcheting, <laughs> tightening uh rail attachment thing. So this is like you could and adjust it, bottom, lock it on. Yeah. They're not automatic. You have to, okay. but how cool is that? So we're not quite at monopod yet. We gotta, we gotta work our way there as we achieve match grade glory. I like the ding target. It's interesting that not only did the blaster get better, but the target did as well. Now this is, we, we, we just complimented the bipod. Oh, Cora, Cora, say hi, YouTube. We're making a video right now. She doesn't know. She doesn't know I'm here. Shut the door. Bye, Cora. Okay, see you soon. All right, so priming this thing just requires a stiff pull. Make sure that you pop it up and then back. Again, I'll demonstrate that real quick with the safety up. You're gonna come back, 
all the way back. And again, no, uh, no feed ramp, no door here, fully door deleted. And should be relatively easy to load it all the way up to its full 10 round capacity. Now, Jared called me out on this earlier, but these are a unique color of rival rounds. Hasbro has never before done the, uh, the neon lime green. It is very cool, very handsome. And you can see just how easy it is for them to expand the capacity of these rival blasters as the internal tube just goes as far as it needs to, to hold 10 rounds. So twice the capacity of the pistol variant, the Mercury here, which means should be easier to get this out. All right, so with the 10th round, we can be fully loaded. We're accidentally about to double feed there and forward, oh boy. All right, so we're gonna drop the monopod because we have to. Do we need to take this in the backyard? Like set up? Set oh yes, set up sniper drop? style. Yeah. If only we had Coop. Coop would, Coop would teach us the ways of the true nerf sniper status. So, we will definitely You're take like it the out. Kid playing duck hunt three feet away from the TV. I <laughs> absolutely am. I've got it pressed up against the cathode ray. Here we can adjust this further. I think we can drop these guys. We're really making sure that we're gonna hit this bell. Hit the uh, hit the rival edge bell like you should hit the YouTube bell so that you get all the notifications for my videos. Oh, oh, that was just that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did it. All right, so check it out, guys. This is the this is the cheap target. I thought this was cool, but that's like so. Thirty minutes ago, the uh, the Mercury target just. They watched the videos, drag. I know the Mercury target just moves, but. This is where it's at now. We're we're here in 2019. Jared's epic nerf battle with targets that ding. Oh, ding. It double dinged. If you shoot it at point blank, it'll it'll hit it twice. The ding's so nice, we did it twice. Dude, admit it, the ding is cool. The ding is amazing, See, actually. Now you don't have to go next door and get little Bobby to play nerf. Now you just set up your target in the backyard <laughs> and play like the lonely person you are. Why is why is it got to be Bobby? Or Tommy or Jill. My my Bobby's name was Connor. He was okay. He wasn't very good at nerf. Bobby's name was Corey, actually. He was cool. Shout out to you, Connor. Sorry. Right, let's set this up. I want to see how accurate this really is. Oh yeah, we should take it all the way down. Come on. All right, Aaron. If you're gonna tease me, I'm gonna make you take the shot. Here. So again, guys, the bipod is crazy cool. It ratchets very comfortably. We got Aaron in full sniper status. Oh, close. That actually fired pretty straight. Oh, that flies really, really straight. If it's flying so straight, why can't Aaron hit anything? Come on, Aaron, ding the bell. Yeah! Excellent. Well, you're shooting the wrong one. Oh, you're right. There we go. <laughs> Reverse ding! Off the, off the, 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 the backboard ding. I was shooting the wrong one. Excellent. All right, guys, I mean, that's a pretty sound endorsement for the... Uh, the Rival Edge Jupiter. I think everybody really likes this one. It's chock full of great features, same comfortable ergonomics, really cool bipod. By far the better included target, possibly the best nerf target That's ever. The best nerf target ever made. Um, this is a fun toy. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, sorry, this is a fun toy. Clear internal magazine. Cool. Absolutely love it. Aaron won't give it back, so. Ah, oh, you will. Uh, so there we are. That's the uh, the rifle category for Rival Edge, complete with all sorts of bipods and monopods and crazy good stuff. Walmart exclusive in the United States. It's true. Walmart yeah. link in the description box below. Best retailer in the United States. Best people in the United States. Love Arkansas. <laughs> Love it. Don't forget to subscribe to our friend Jared Gwine's marketing expert. Hype man extraordinaire. And uh, if you need to pick up a Jupiter, check out the link in the description box below. But really like the aesthetic and the ergonomics. I guess the only thing we didn't mention is that there's a priming indicator built into the blaster. If you need a piece of plastic to tell you what you did five seconds ago, then you probably need, I was gonna say then, <laughs> I was about to make an Apple Watch joke and then I realized yeah, Jared's wearing an Apple do. Watch. Um, so uh, there it is <laughs> as always. <laughs> Much love, Nerf on. Uh, Jared's epic Nerf Battle Squad out.